Hi all, Hal here with more Space Engineers, and today we are going to be uh, working on this. So uh, I'll bring up the speed on what we've done on the camera, off camera, and in between. But first, we have to get started. So let's go. So happy Monday, everybody. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend and are so far this week having a fantastic Monday as well. <laughs> All right. So um, we were together last time. We had been working on the engine nacelles over here. Let's go ahead and get some of the stuff off our screen. <clears throat> so what I have done is I've gone ahead and fleshed this out a little bit more. Uh, we still have the temporary cockpit up there. We're going to be working on the actual forward section, and I'll show you what updates we've done there shortly. So, uh, yeah, so we now have all of this mostly fleshed out. I'm going to do a little bit of detail work in here. There's a couple of things that, um, a couple of areas, I should say, that I am not overly happy with because, you know, we have giant flat space here. And we have the same giant flat space up here. So I'm going to do some, probably do a little bit of detailing on it. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do or what we're going to do with it. But I'll probably, I may play with that a little bit today. Um, don't know. So we have gone ahead, cleaned up some of this. I'm wondering if, do I want to go ahead... that yeah yeah I think that works okay um, so we do have the cutaways in here so you can see the engines uh, when when you're docked and I'm thinking I may end up doing something like that up here as well um, the problem that we run into is that we don't have a whole lot of space for cutaway so what I may end up doing is taking the half block that we have here, leave the one in the front, take the rest of the ones back. There, I'll just show you. It's actually going to be faster to, to show you than it is to talk about it. Now, I did swap out my grinder for a, uh, a more basic unit. Come on. So, we have a little bit more control over what we're grinding at any point in time. Right, so if we go oh, you. Hmm. Not happy with the way that looks. See the problem that we're running into is that I want to keep the line. I, mean, I guess we could do something like this, maybe? That might be interesting. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll have to come back and take a look at it and figure out what I want to do. Um, I would like to do a little bit more of a skeletal work like we did with this. But I also don't want to have it oversaturated with that type of detailing because I want there to be like uh, points of interest that you'll come up to and say, hey, that's kind of cool, and you move on. Um, but it also serves the purpose of being able to see some of the inner workings and some of the little detail bits that we did in there. Uh, so the other thing that we did, I actually added a third thruster, so we now have three on either side. And I've mirrored the internal components, but we haven't finished doing all of the cowling yet. So eventually I will, uh, I'll work on that. I'll probably do that later tonight off camera. So when we get together next time, um, everything back here should be mostly done. And then it's figuring out how to handle this stuff. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to flip these or what. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with these yet, but we'll figure it out. All right, so we've made some changes to the front of the ship. 
we've gone ahead and taken out the bridge that if you remember last time we put in this little airlock area so we now have a side access potential on either side we have lights that we are going to be doing a, a little bit of programming with um, I need to install a couple of timer blocks and what we're gonna do is I've got these labeled in the control panel so that the greens yellows and reds are each on their own grouping and we're gonna set up a uh, decompressor uh, decompressurization chamber in here so basically you'll be able to tell if this place is pressurized or not so if everything's on evac this will be red if it's in transition it'll be yellow and if it's pressurized it'll be green um, one of the things that I might do is I, I've been really trying not to do this <laughs> because I really don't want to go through and do it um, I may write a script actually write the script to have it detect air pressure in here and if it is um, depressurized basically it'll be red if it's pressurized it's green and if it's um, like not pressurized if there's atmosphere but it's not um, like there's no there's Energy no low. O2 available in the system it goes to yellow it's a bit of scripting that I was really trying not to do but you know, we may do it. Uh, let's see here. Do we just want to go... Really do... That. Since we have the corner blocks... I think Might do something like this. guys because this will let me get actually no. we want you turn off on rotate should have enough power to work. And then what we'll do is, um, off camera, I think I'll come through and do some painting. And we'll we'll texture this up. Actually, I might go ahead and do it now. Get you out of there. Uh, we want you. Okay. We choose you, Pikachu. All right. more of these and the drifting in this game has got really bad I'm not quite sure why I continue to experience that lovely drift I think it's because of the ships being uh, we've got so many ships docked into it it's like messing with the uh... okay you haven't moved yet okay uh, messing with the uh, the location uh, inertia that's what I'm trying to think. And so we're saying this and energy critical. So we do something like that. And I may come through and actually paint that at some point. Uh, but you know, it gives us a little bit of a softer edge in here, right? Not too bad. All right, let's go jump in here really quick. Oh, and uh, we re we relocated cargo. Let me. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. Um, so yeah, basically, what we have been doing is I'm trying to rebalance things. You know, make it. A little bit more usable um, one of the things that I would like to do is to have 
I would really like for Keen to give us a small grid equivalent to things like the beds. Um, I understand that the concept of the small grid in vanilla is basically just a, uh, you know, you build small craft with it, like little rovers, you know, whatever. But the thing is, is that even if you're building a rover, if you're doing something where you're doing an exploration rover, you know, we can put cryopods in. Hey, great, that's awesome. Um, but I would kind of like to be able to put in something a little bit more relaxing as well. I mean, I guess I could. Let's see if we swap you out. So you are three blocks. So that would actually, if we took you. you we could actually put that in and it does give us a second cryopod That would give us something along those lines. I mean, it does make it a little bit more use, uh, usable in here. The question is, is would I want to put anything in this corner? <sighs> oh, you know what I can put in here? I can put no... Uh, I know exactly what I can put in here. <laughs> Actually, do I have... I might actually have the stuff for it, so. Let's uh, drop you out. What do I need? Uh, let's go grab some parts. Really quick. And. Oh. We're going to go ahead and grab you. Right. Right, so let's go ahead and get you welded up. Get you welded up. Alright. So that gives us two cryopods. Which just doubled the crew capacity of the ship. I think I actually like this idea. We'll have to uh, rename these as well. Uh, I'll put this one here. Ah, two more computers. So yeah, there's that that hostile ship's been over there all day, so. So let's go ahead and get this last piece welded up. Uh, we'll jump in that cryopod, make sure it is working really quick. It's warm. We have O2 coming coming in ish. There we go. All right. So yes, it is hooked up. Which means that if we had somebody else in and they were in the other cryopod, we could actually hand materials back and forth to each other. Well, small stuff anyway. Alright. See, my big concern with this is that I think I am going to have to put in a mod for gravity generators. Specifically to have a small grid gravity generator. I'm trying. I am. I am seriously trying to minimize the uh, the number of mods on this build. So, because we've already got one, two different door mods, the ramp mod. So 
So one, two mods. There's no mods back here. Okay. So the ramp, one door, two doors, three doors. So that's three mods so far. None of this is modded. None of that is modded. Yeah, so we're up to four mods on the ship. That's not too bad. Three of them are, well, technically all of them are doors. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So what we did is, if you remember that we had the cargo block in our cargo container was back there. Um, I've moved the cargo container, so it is now here in the forward portion of the ship. We're using the large conveyor adapters um, here. So we have it going large connection to large connection to large connection. And then what we've done is we've put some actual connectors on here that will allow us to connect to the ship or to supply lines on either side, forward or bottom. Um, I'm not planning on putting a top feeding connector in because of a couple of different reasons. One of them being, you know, I don't want to have to pipe it in. I mean, I could very easily. Actually, how many, how wide is this? So yeah, I could actually run the piping up through this area to a, a roof mounted connector, which might be interesting to do, but not currently in the plans mainly because I'd have to widen the corridor a little bit. Um, but what I want to do today is we want to start working on our actual bridge area. So I've got some ideas on things that I want to, I want to do for, let's do this. There. Um, some ideas of things I want to do for the basic shape of this. So if we're going to go, say, like so. Uh, that's five, right? And really? Ah, damn, you auto-rotate. And then... That leaves that there. All right, so now we take this up to here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that one out and that one out. Right. And we want to do the inverse corner, which is going to be this one, and we're going to do the same on this side. Uh, do I want... Hmm. Let's see here. So yeah, I started doing it and I felt like, okay, this is kind of a good idea, right? It looks, looks good. Come here, you. And we don't want little floaty bits inside the ship. Mainly because of the fact that, you know, little floaty bits tend to rip the ship apart. So if we build you all, what are you doing? I mean, I guess we could go ahead and just do that. I don't know. I'm going to have to actually take a look and figure out how I want to do that. And you're just here. There we go. 
And so basically what we're doing with these little alcoves, we'll be able to put some lights in here. Um, probably put a light in one of these, uh, trailing corner maybe? So the light would come out this way? I don't know. So yeah, we're just, like I said, we're just kind of playing with the textures right now, seeing what we can come up with. Come over here for a moment. Let's see, you went through that way, so if we did the same here, let's see what that's gonna look like. Ah, I'm out of steel plates. What am I carrying that I don't have steel plate? Oh, I guess I've got everything but steel plates. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw all that back in there. Oh, wait. Okay. Let's say. Let's go ahead and throw all these in here. And I thought I'd made like another, you know, 20k of them or something but that. Huh. So we have this. Which is basically, you know, just repeating what we did on the other side here. Having some fun with it. See, I'm almost tempted. I'm seriously almost tempted to uh, put in one of the extension rings here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so if we grab, uh, what are these things called? Conveyor frames. We're gonna throw you. That, because that'll bring that out one, which allows us to basically repeat this shaping. And then we can carry this over. Do that, do that. Let's go grab the parts for these. We're gonna grab our conveyor. And then this one went. That one went to the side. So this one goes like so. And then we do. What did we do? We did what? Like four rings down, I think. Three rings down. don't need any more of those, but we will need those, so let's go ahead and... I think that's what we had before, right? Yes, that should be right. Alright, and then... We want to have this end here, or do we want that to come out a little bit? I think we want that to come out a little bit. Let's go ahead and... Grab the parts for two more. 
It's a number that's been working for us pretty well, right? And lots of metal plates, okay. So what this will allow us to do is to have you and weld you up. And I'm thinking here what we'll do is effectively do that. Shouldn't need either of those anymore, so let's come back to all blocks. We're gonna grab, grab our little half block here. Gonna do this on both sides so basically just trying to get something you know, a little bit a little bit fun right one of you there and one of you there all right so let's build this up really quick Yeah, and it adds a little bit of texture to it. Gives you something a little different to look at, right? And I'll up all the rest of this. Now, I don't know if we're going to I'm almost tempted to add another ring move this forward energy low I'm really tempted to move basically cut this here move it for move everything forward one line so that we end up with this being um, kept consistent. Hmm. Not sure. That uh, could be pretty interesting to do. Alright. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do is let me do a really quick cut. I'm going to grind all this stuff down, move this out one block so that this is uh, a little bit more consistent. And I'll bring you back as soon as we have everything rebuilt. All right. So it uh, should look pretty much the same, just every, all this is moving over a bit. So we'll, uh, we'll be right back. And we're back. All right, so now that we've gotten most of this figured out, we're going to kind of repeat what we have here, which is going to effectively do something along uh, these lines. And what we're going to do is, instead of what we did over there, where we have this terminate here, we will uh, use our corner blocks here. Do we want to... I think I'm trying to decide if I want to change that up or not, but one, two, three. Let's uh, let's go here. <coughs> Been a little under the weather all weekend, so I apologize. My uh, my voice sounds a little scratchy. Right. Uh, 
Oh, the steel plates. Alright. Why doesn't that surprise me? Grab a few of those. Um, go ahead and fill these up. Go ahead and grab a couple more of these. It's always fun basically building, well, greebling while you build, right? I know it can get a little tedious sometimes watch it, and I try not to do too much greebling on camera, but I had a couple of folks asking, you know, what's it, you know, how do we do it, and what are we doing, how do we make those decisions, and a lot of it is really just trial and error. I think a lot of people forget about that. Uh, this does leave us with an interesting point. We could actually sneak in some more functionality in here. I'm gonna leave that open for now. So the area up here is actually going to be, you know, the bridge area, the walkway. I'll probably end up repainting that. You are going to be... Hmm... Let's see, to keep it consistent, we'll need at least one more line there. And then whatever we're gonna do for changing up the, uh, the direction. So for right now, we'll do it like this. I don't know it's gonna stay like that, but. And then over here, we're gonna do the same thing we did over on that side. Grab our angle bit. And there you go. Right. And so basically, like I said, we're just Trying to mirror things as much as possible on either side. Um, yeah. Get a little this in. I don't mind asymmetrical ships. Asymmetrical ships. <laughs> and anybody who's been on the around the channel long enough, you know that a lot of my ship builds end up asymmetrical. Sometimes by design, sometimes not. But is what it is. And I think we went like so. And again, it's just kind of a, a rough in. It's not meant to be anything overly uh, final. You know, it's like turn the light on, see if that makes it any easier. But yeah, it does open up the potential for us to have some space in here. Mm. See, the reason I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to do with this is because if I do use... So one of the mod packs that I was looking for, or I was looking at... Right would make the jump drive it'd be a full-size block but scaled down so you know how this thing is currently like that right it's like two by three right i should say it's 
two by three by three. <laughs> so what we'd be able to do is if we use the mod pack, the, uh, oh, was it? I'm trying to remember which one it is. It's the, it's not the big ships go large. I think it's the small ship mega mod. Um, there's a jump drive that keeps the same aspect ratio, but instead of being large blocks, it'll be two small blocks by three by three uh, small blocks, which means we'd be able to actually fit in a couple of jump drives on the build. Quite a few of them, actually. Which might not be a bad idea. And then in the section back here, in that same mod pack, actually, would have the small uh, gravity drive, and we'd be, or gravity drive, the small gravity generator. And we'd be able to kind of sneak that in somewhere um, on either side, or maybe even if we went. Yeah, see, we'd be able to place it right there and then have a block over it so that it's out of the way and hidden. Yeah. Okay, I think we're going to do that. Uh, let me see. Would we... Where is that going to show up? It looks like it's actually going to be under one of the doors. Hmm. I'm tempted to put the hatch in, too. Because if we put the hatch in, I could have the hatch here. And that would allow us to be able to access the area underneath. But... Yeah, do you think... Do you think that's what we'll do? And what I may do is open this back up in here. Actually, I don't have to because I put an extra block in there. So I'd be able to put the grab I'd be able to put the gravity generator in that location. And then we could put a little bit of armor, like two blocks of armor in here just to protect it a little bit. But that would give us a gravity generator that would, in theory Actually, you know what? I probably might be better. Come here, you. Let's close this door. Because we have a little bit of space back here. And I'm wondering... I'd have to figure out where would be a good place for it. I mean... Hell, we have all the space back here now. I could actually just cut into, say... There. And put the gravity... Uh, the gravity gen right there. Hmm. Yeah. So that's one of the things that I would like for... That's another one of the items I'd like for Keen to add to the game is... Um, small block versions. Because we were talking about, like, you know, the bed, not the, just the cryopod, but, like, the actual... The new blocks that they've added. It'd be really nice to have those set up for small grid use as well. Because you can just get so much more detail out of a uh, small grid build than you can out of the large grid build. I mean, you can still do it, it's just you're talking about a completely different scale of building. Yeah. So if we keep that, that becomes a thing. probably come back and add in actually let's go that way and what we'll do is we'll make that entire line heavy armor blocks yeah I'm kind of liking the way this is going actually you want to uh Do we want to keep that three wide like that, or do we want... I think we'll keep it three wide. That's fine. 
Yeah, that should be good. All right. So, I think that is... Uh, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. We have, we have a little bit of time left, and there's a little bit more I want to get done here. But the real question is going to be is, do we load... You know what? I'm going to make that a poll. We'll, uh, we'll make it a poll. We'll throw that up in the top right corner. Should we use the Small Ship Mega Mod Pack? Because like I said, it will add a small grid equivalent and keep the scale. Uh, it basically scales it down from large grid to small grid. You know, do we want to do that? Or do I use the small ships go large mod, which gives us full sized things such as like this gravity generator, um, but it allows it to attach to a small grid system. So we would actually have to figure out spacing for that thing a little bit more. So either one of those is acceptable to me. Let me know what you think down in the section and uh, don't forget to vote. You know, I'll take any of the feedback you have. Because that would mean we would have the ability to mount a jump drive if we really wanted to. We could put a jump drive on this thing. Um, but it's going to effectively be back here somewhere. It's not going to be something that we're putting on the front of the ship. Actually, we, hmm, we could actually mount a full-size jump drive up here which could be a thing which would give me a reason to flesh this out a little bit more and uh, we're gonna because we're gonna put a shield generator up here too I might even put the heavy sh the small ship heavy shield generator on it because right now if you notice we don't have a whole lot of place to mount weapons now I've been building into the system uh, areas that we could hook conveyors into so if we wanted to, we could actually put turrets in on this thing. And I will probably put a couple in. I may even put one down here. So we do have areas like that. In fact, energy low. Let's go ahead and do that now. Just to get an idea where th where these are probably going to end up. We'll have one here. Uh, thinking. We'll do one here. Do the second one. Are you actually tired? Yeah, you are. Okay, you're, you're, you're running through the thruster. That's fine. Um, I'll put something back here. And we did that one. Oh, that one. There we go. So we'll basically be able to have a couple of turrets on either side. Uh, we'll have one, at least one turret down here. I'm probably going to pipe something in because we've got a bunch of piping back here, so I can run it all over the place. Hell, I could just run it straight off of there. Just run it straight down. Because one of the things that we were talking about doing as well is adding. Come here, you. We were talking about doing two more of these. So, so we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna actually do that or not. If I do, basically we'll need to extend this area back a bit more so that these are. Um, enclosed and we'll end up with piping Let's see if we go 
So we'd end up with something basically like this. And since that's flush with what's currently the, the face of the, the ship, we'd be able to put a turret in right there. Um, so I tend to not put turrets on the, uh, where they have a tendency or a potential to uh, shoot through vital components of the ship. But in some cases, we kind of need to do that, so... I mean, hell, I could actually... Energy critical. We could... Do something like this, even. Which would allow us to put a turret on here, on the other side of these. Which might not be a bad idea. Not trying to make this thing a gunship, just... But we do want to have it be able to protect itself, so, you know, that would... never a bad thing. So let's go... Oh, damn it. Come here, you. Does that need to go? That's right. This is just going to come all the way across. If the system will stop hanging. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and. No floaties. Come here, you. There we go. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for us today. I want to thank you all for stopping in. Oh, I am thinking here that we're going to. I'm not quite sure what we're going to. How we're going to do this. Um, we do need to build a bit of a bridge area here. And the, one of the things that we're going to run into a problem with is that... Uh, no energy. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, the most recent patch of uh. Space Engineers fixed that... <coughs> fixed that lag between losing power and starting to lose health. Because um, either, no matter what I do, I'm going to have to load something that adds a little bit of functionality, like the uh, a cockpit space, because I want to do a custom cockpit. I don't want to use one of the, the ship. I mean, I guess I could use... Hmm. Because what I could, what I could do is I could have, say, this be the cockpit when we just move it down here. Actually. Let's go... going to be the industrial one. And so what I was what I was kind of thinking was you are a three by right. So you end up with something like this. But you can't get into these from back here. You would have to use something like this one. And I'm not a huge fan of this particular cockpit. You know. And that's what I'm saying is I think I would prefer yeah, we're going to have to load one of the mod packs. Either the small ships go large, we'll either have to reload that back in, or the uh, small ship mega mod pack. So, again, make sure you vote. That will be up in the top right corner under the uh, the card up there if you've made it this far. Uh, if you did make it this far, I want to thank you for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw them down in the section below. 
And if you uh, haven't done so already, are new to the channel, or just want to do something nice for me this this wonderful Monday, uh, well, morning when this thing goes up, it'll probably be afternoon by the time anyone sees it. <laughs> Be sure to uh, hit that subscribe, and if you want to be kept up to date, don't forget to ring the bell as well. And on that note, I am going to get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy your week, and we'll see you back here next time for more Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Right, so I think this is going to be... This might actually be kind of interesting when it's done. Let's see what it looks like when we get a little further along. Just have to add some more blocks, weld all this up, and figure out which way we're going to go with the uh, custom cockpit. Hmm.